Question 10, paper 1 of November 2020. In a certain country, 10 digit telephone numbers with the following format were introduced. So the format is the number of digits, the area code has three digits, the exchange code three digits, and the number four digits. For example, 901-544-1230. And it also says that digits may be repeated. How many possible 10 digit telephone numbers could be formed? So a telephone number consists out of 10 digits. And there are 10 possible digits. So it's 10 to the power of 10. Next up, it says certain restrictions were placed on the groups of digits. The area code, which consists out of three digits, must be three digits. And the first digit cannot be zero or one. The exchange code which is the next three digits, must be three digits, and the first and second digits cannot be zero and one as well. And the number must be four digits, and the first digits must be a zero or a one. Now the question says, how many valid 10-digit telephone numbers could be formed by applying the given restrictions? So let us deal with each restriction separately. We have the area code, the exchange code, and the number. We know that the area code must consist out of three numbers. So only the first digit cannot be a zero or a one. So it can be any other digit. So there are eight more options left, meaning two, three, four, all the way up until nine. There are no restrictions on the second digit and there are no restrictions on the third digit. Then for the exchange code, it must consist out of three digits. The first and second digit cannot be a zero or a one. So it can be all of the other options. So zero and one is excluded. So there's eight options left and the same for the second digit in the exchange code. And then for the third number, we have 10 possible values. And the number which consists out of four digits says, the number says that the first digit must be zero or one. So now this first digit is restricted to zero or one. So that is two options and the remaining options has 10 numbers. Therefore, the total valid number of digits, it's eight times 10 times 10 times eight times eight times 10 times two times 10 times 10 times 10. And if we multiply out, we'd find that this is 1.024 times 10 to the power of 9. The next question reads, determine the probability that any randomly chosen 10 digit telephone number will be a valid telephone number. So we found that the amount of valid numbers are 1.024 times 10 to the power of 9. And we also found that the total number of numbers in the first question was 10 to the power of 10. And if you simplify, you find that this is 0 0.1024. And if I leave my answer as a percentage, it would be 10.24%. And this is the probability of a phone number being valid.